It is easy to feel moved by the stories you read on the GoFundMe site. According to the site, there is no way to be 100% guarantee that a user's page is accurate and truthful information. Crowd sharing sites like GoFundMe have made it easy to give in times of need, but scammers like to prey on a tragedy. You're always going to have those few people who just want to take advantage of a, a situation. GoFundMe has taken security steps to protect you from fraud. On its website, it says users are required to display their authentic identities using GoFundMe. It goes on to say GoFundMe helps communicate account authenticity while protecting users' personal contact information by leveraging Facebook. They will show you who created that campaign. So you can do a little bit of digging online before you donate. You know, check out their social media, uh, Google their name, and see what sort of information pops up. The BBB suggests donating to people you know and trust. A major red flag would be if you're on a site and they're trying to get you away from that crowdfunding site onto another platform to donate, that would be another red flag. Recently in Topeka, a page started by a third party person to help a crash victim was shut down over questions on its authenticity. If you find yourself in a similar situation, you can file a complaint through them and try to get a refund back. investigated. If it is fraud, they can remove the account. The Better Business Bureau says when in doubt, don't donate. Now some more tips to make sure you don't get scammed. Match your personal goals to the fundraiser. Take time to find the charities that are accomplishing the work you want to see completed. And be cautious about giving out personal information. Mm -hmm. Don't give out your personal or financial information unless you are sure the charity is reputable.